being a Christian is not always the most easiest of things. My Christian journey has been filled with ups and downs, good, bad moments. It has been great learning about God, learning to trust Him. Sometimes I had to learn the hard way, the real hard way. You know what? When you know that God says no, but you just go ahead and you hurt yourself and God says, yeah, my child, welcome back. <laughs> So come with me as I will be discussing some of the things that I've noticed changed in my life as I have been growing spiritually. Enjoy. Shall we start with a word of prayer? Lord, we thank you for this time of prayer. We thank you for your presence here with us. We ask a special grace upon these words that we are going to be discussing. We ask that your Holy Spirit would be here with us to guide us, to direct us. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. So today we are going to be talking about things that I have noticed, maybe probably changes that I've noticed in myself as I am growing spiritually. Remember, as Christians, we are supposed to grow each and every day. You shouldn't be the same person you were yesterday. In Christ, we need to. Every day. I've noticed a few things in my life that have changed ever since I have been growing spiritually. Number one, making Christ a priority. You know how first thing in the morning when you wake up, you check your notifications, you check everything. I have learned and I have realized that I prioritize the study of the word in the morning and prayer. Non-negotiable. When I grab my phone, it's probably for the Bible in the Bible alone and even if there's a notification I don't attend to up until maybe after seven o'clock or something I, I early hours are just designated holy hours for me and I I have not always been like that I find a lot of peace a lot, a lot of joy a lot of um you know breathing time in being able to just pause everything and say this is time for me and my lord Early mornings are just, I think they're special in a way because even Christ rose up early too. It says before the sun came out, he would be up and he would be praying. Mark 135. The psalmist also says in um, Psalm 63, verse 1 Lord, my God, early will I seek you. So early I realized that I seek God. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to our morning devotional. Today we are going to be studying the book of Genesis chapter 34. Genesis chapter 32. The other thing that I've noticed is that I am more concerned about my mind. I feed my mind with the right things only. I'm very jealous of my mind. I know this is the very mind that I need to make decisions that will affect my salvation. So back in the day, I used to just live my life the way I wanted to live it. Of course, I was cautious of God, but you know, most importantly, I would say, I know in this time for God and this time for me. And no such thing as me time. It's always, it's always God's time. Even during your so called me time, God should be in my in your mind. So this moves on to my next point. Um, in, in taking care of my mind, by all means, I don't watch TV. Even my house, we don't have a television. <laughs> People come to our house, especially small kids, they'll be like, Ah, oh, auntie, what happened to your TV? Who took your TV away? So I try by all means to not watch TV and because I know there's a lot of junk on TV. There's just stuff that goes into your mind and stays there and the mind doesn't have a filter. It just absorbs everything that is in there. How so her? You'd find that you start talking like them, you start dressing like them, you start having their ideas and you know you are just a junkie person because you also have a quality for you you are everywhere your mind is not you know i travel all means to watch spirit field things only like i say i travel all means i travel all means to be spirit filled and to just watch and read i'm not much of a reader i'm much of a watcher and a listener but to listen to and watch things that will you know, grow me and make me a better person. I watch YouTube channels that I know are 
uh, believe in certain things that I believe in. So yeah, I don't watch soapies, no. I don't watch these series that, you know, you be just so glued to, no, I don't. By all means, I don't. And the reason why I removed the TV is because I know I'm weak. I know I would want to. Man, of course it's nice to be watching your favorite show on Netflix. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know how to use it. But I think it'd be nice, you know, to just curl up, you know, on your couch and have your popcorn and just... I know it would be nice. I know I'd love that, but I don't because I know it doesn't benefit me in any single way. So TV, I'm against. I'm against. People, even the TV actors will tell you that my kids don't watch TV. My kids, my kids, I limit screen time. So when I'm at home, instead of watching TV, we bond, we play, we laugh, we just we're together. We try to build a um, family. Mm, of course, my kids will want people will be like, oh, but the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids. No, the kids, they watch what I say they watch. And they watch certain cartoons. Oh my goodness, there are so many good cartoons out there. And there are so many bad cartoons out there. So I try to always, I'm not a perfect parent, by the way. You know, sometimes I don't want to just be on the phone. And I don't know where she is. She's hiding somewhere, watching whatever she wants to watch. David was so courageous. <gasps> Queen Esther! Queen Esther, Moses and the Ten Commandments. <gasps> what a sad, sad day. Adam and Eve sinned and they were chased out of the garden. <laughs> Protecting him. <laughs> Do you want God to protect you?
Mohauta, Mohauta, Hodira, Majan. Again, Mohauta, 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 Hodira, Majan. Can outdo me when it yeah, comes to riding bikes. You can. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I'm the best. On my foot. <laughs> 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 yeah, and that brings us to our next point. Oh, I've realized that I have a distaste for secular music. Okay, let me be honest. Secular music is nice. I love jiving, I love dancing, I'm full of energy as you know by now if you watch my content but I travel almost not to play secular music in my house like my house is for holy music and it was hard to control um, when there was a television because you know people would, would subscribe for all the channels sometimes and you know my siblings would come and want to watch that dance and I'd be like no, not in my house, you know. If at all you want to watch secular things, you, you're going to put on my headset and do it. I don't want that certain influence in my... I just want my... You know, the, the environment in my house to just be a holy one where angels come and just chill and say, Yo, Gabriel, let's go chill at Uncle's house, you know. I don't know if they call each other. They just, you know, I just want that for my family. I don't want it to be a place where demons can have a party or, or some sort. So by all means, I try to play good music, good Christian music. Of course, here and there we'll be playing wedding songs and dancing. But by all means, I try in my car is holy music. In my everywhere is holy music. your will be done notice that jesus did not say the most intimate things going on in his heart he gave the people what they could handle to the eight sit you here and pray that's all you can handle to the three my soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death i need you to pray etc because that's all they could handle when he goes one-on-one -on -one with god all right lord this is how i'm really feeling did you know that's a practical lesson Stop telling everybody everything that's going on in your mind. Only give people what they can handle. That's a side bonus of the message. <laughs> but again, what do we see with Jesus? What we see with Jesus is we see one who is constantly saying, Father, not my will, your will be done. I'm not here to do what I want. I'm here to do what you want. I am subject unto you and your words. And that is how Jesus Live the entire 33 and a half. Ota puta, ota puta, ma joana. Cause what if your blessings come through raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? What if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know your need?
uta o ga uta uti ta hab aba again don't be tired now uta 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 I'm more cautious of how I spend my time you know I spend my time improving myself I spend my time learning about business learning about God learning about life I don't just spend my time anyhow like hey what was I doing with my time today what did I do today when I get to work I work you know oh my goodness I hate my job no hate it and work or leave it for some others to come and work you know I believe I'm proud of myself because I, I do my work diligently, focus. I know that time is precious. I can't come and steal the government's time and just be there, you know. So I, I like that I'm, I'm cautious of my time. I want cautious of my time and like I mentioned, my mind. I won't be just there watching a whole series of a funny thing or a scary thing or without improving myself, no. Uh-uh. Knocking off with my side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? This is currently how my car looks. Stock on, stock on, stock on, stock. Look who's back! Njungura is back with a bang like it never left. Only we've changed the packaging, we've made it better, we've made it, we've made it even more, you know, friendly to the environment to stop using that other package, which is still dope. But Njungura is a natural cleanser from Chobe all the way. From Kabimba, it arrived this morning, and I'm super excited because we're working. It rahamala barreha me baby. So please get in contact with me. 150 gets you this pack. Other thing is that I find that I don't enjoy certain things like like gossip. Gossip makes me cringe. Gossip makes me so uncomfortable. Gossipers make me so uncomfortable. It's either I. I, 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 I can't, I don't spend time around gossipers. It's either I just remove myself from that person or I tr at first I'd like try to say Ah, but that person is not, it's not, not so bad, you know, you know what I do? It, it makes me so uncomfortable. And there was a time, there was a time a certain old lady said to me Managa, why should you go I used to work with her. You go ratela I have to lay like in the I guess you go to say bau. Yeah, and like, I'm sure I have done it, but she, of course, probably she hasn't hit. You know, now I wanted to live up to that standard. Ish, of course, it's hard. We love gossiping, people gossip, couples gossip, we gossip, but it makes me uncomfortable. Ask my husband, ask him, and my mom. <laughs> my mom, not going to get saving. You know, like, yeah, I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. It's not nice. Gross in the Lord. Also find that I, I, I've been struggling with dirty thoughts. And ever since I started feeding my mind a right, I don't have them. And if they come, I dismiss them immediately in Jesus' name. What am I trying to say? Liwena. When you have a dirty thought in your mind, dismiss it. Don't let it linger around longer. No, just say, <laughs> out, 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 out. Cast out that demon in Jesus' name, you know? So I, I don't 
struggle that much anymore. I they do come, but I'll be like, no, no, not in my mind. You're not gonna play in my mind. Not today, not ever. Also, I find that I pray more often. I pray every way. You know, like when the Bible said, you know, walk with God, I believe it meant literally every step of the way he would just pray 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 prayer is the key right so i find that i pray everywhere i pray for anyone i could be driving and be like that person looks like he's going through a lot father god please heal them father look at that child i ask that she's probably the first person to to go to school in her family i don't even know i'll just make up the stories about them and start hammering hammering oh who knows maybe maybe it's true maybe i'll meet people in heaven and they'll be like hey she you know, God will say, hey, can you pray for this person? I'm like, yeah, thank you, Lord, you know. So I pray often, even in my office, I bring prayer. Whenever I arrive at work, I'm like, guys, let us pray. At first, they used to be like, hey, we're busy, we're busy. But now they have just warmed up to it, and we just pray. And even with, sometimes they'll be like, hey, man, we haven't prayed. I'm like, no, we prayed. We haven't prayed. And so it's so beautiful to know that um, I take prayer everywhere I go. Okay, the last one is that, I don't know, I am not so much concerned about my looks anymore. Like, I, I don't, <laughs> I care, I totally care about how I look. But I can go to work with my bare face, no makeup, no wigs, natural hair, looking clean and nice and all that. I'm beautiful, you know. Most of the time, I used to be like, no, I used to be, even if I'm late, I would make sure I draw my eyebrows. You know, and that is just bondage in a way because you can't always be there. Like, I wonder what people think of me without makeup, you know? If you accept that God is good and God made you the way you are, you won't obsess about looking a certain way and having people like seeing you looking fake. You know, they don't really like you. They like your makeup, your hair, your maybe skimpy clothes or revealing clothes. I've just, I'm just okay. I can wear whatever I want. I can wear just, I don't need, you know, I don't even know if I'm explaining it correctly. But what I'm trying to say is I don't worry much about my looks that much. I look clean and I just rock up. Thank you so much for watching. Please tell me what things you no longer do or you are no longer interested in ever since you started learning about God. And please, 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 be patient with other people's growth if you see someone doing something that you used to do and you're over it you're over drinking you're over smoking you're over um going around be patient with them be patient with their journey pray for them don't judge them don't talk ill about them you know god has taken you out of that for a reason and that very reason is that you should help others out of the same ditch or the same pit that you were in all right let's pray thank you lord for the spiritual journey that i have um gone through for my friends for everyone else lord i ask that lord you help us to keep growing spiritually each and every day to become better people for your kingdom for your glory help those who are still on the way who are coming and who are who will reach a certain level in the spiritual help us to to be patient with them, to love them, to nurture them, to, to pray for them. We bless your holy name and Christ's holy name we pray. Amen.